posture is simply this position of the body. And you can maintain a posture. Uh, you can maintain a lying down posture. You can maintain a sitting posture. You can maintain a standing posture. And obviously, it's more difficult to maintain a, a standing posture than a lying down posture. But uh, even when you're lying down and you reach over and you do something, you will, if, if you think about it, if you, if you are uh, introspective during that mo movement, what you'll realize is that you're contracting, just to reach over, you're, you're contracting uh, core muscles to allow you to do that. Okay, so, so there's always postural maintenance, even in the, the easiest of circumstances. But in fact, we're capable of some really spectacular postures. And, and this is uh, from a, 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 the Phoenix, a dance group here at University of Chicago, and shows two individuals uh, who even, e even transiently are able to keep some really spectacular postures. And what we're going to see is this is all due to muscle contraction. Okay, Their ability to do this is muscle contraction. Now, uh, I have long said that a, a, uh, a person can ride the CTA or whatever the public trans, trans, transit system is in your city. Here it's the Chicago Transit Authority. Um, so uh, a person can ride a CTA bus or train standing and not holding onto a pole and stay upright. Uh, um, and, and, and effectively stay upright for a whole ride. Um, a robot probably can't do that. A robot, there is no robot that exists today that could reliably stay upright for that whole CTA ride. Um, if, if, they're, if they're a bipedal robot and they um, are not bolted to the floor, okay? So we have some, some rules here. Um, if you look at, for example, the Mars the various Mars uh, robots that have gone out, Pathfinder and so on, they, uh, they have multiple legs. They tend to have about six legs. They have an incredibly low uh, center of balance, and they move at, say, a, few, a couple miles per hour. When they encounter an, uh, an unexpected piece of terrain, such as a, a slope of, of this um, degree, uh, they can get stuck for months. And they've gotten a little bit better over time, but, uh, but suffice it to say that we get for free something that uh, is really difficult to program into a robot. And just to continue my uh, dissing of robots, um, I, I, I want you to, uh, to, to, to see some of the, the, the latest robots, which are really spectacular. I mean, what they can do is amazing. So this is um, Atlas from Boston Dynamics. And Atlas is a bipedal robot who you'll see can do some really cool things. It can push open a door without falling over, which is, a, which is really remarkable. And then walk out on snow over very uh, bumpy terrain. What you'll also see is that, is, that, is that Atlas has this really bent posture. So the, the knees are bent. The, the, uh, it's the, not standing upright, not standing straight and tall. Um, uh, the knees are bent, the, the, the hips are bent, and, uh, and, they, and Atlas raises each leg uh, really high and puts it down. So it's a not, not, not exactly a natural uh, gait. It's really spectacular, but we do better for free. Okay. And then this is, this is a funny um, uh, instance where um, one of the things that we'll see is that force is really what we, uh, we have to keep track of our force. And so if, if I pull on something, uh, before I pull on it, I make sure that I'm going to tense muscles in the back of my legs so that as I pull on it, I don't fall backwards. Well, the robot this robot does not do that. So as it pulls, it falls over. Um, or if it turns, actually, I think this is, this is one where as it turns, it falls over. Just that amount of force that to, to do this action it doesn't actually, there's, there's a wheel, and it's supposed to grip the wheel, but it doesn't grip the wheel. It grips next to the wheel. It can't feel that it missed the wheel. OK, so that's problem number one. 
but now it's gripping the air and it and just that turn that's enough force to topple it over okay we don't do that we're really good so now um with that brief yay yay humans dis dis robots um we're going to go on and in the next uh, video will look at the basic um, components of postural balance. <laughs>